Guten Tag, guys. A guy named Axoto is going to beat Super Mario Brothers 3 in uh, under four minutes, something like that. So let's see him get to it. Link to his channel in the description of this video if you're interested in more of his stuff or her stuff. I don't know if it's a guy or girl, but let's see him do it. Just like, yeah, I'm just kind of flying through it. I always like the way Mario spreads his little arms and stuff. It looks like little wings. And if I may add, Mario Brothers 3 is my favorite Mario game of all time. It is the greatest Mario game I have ever played. I have not played them all. I'll admit that. Um, because there's too goddamn many of them anyway. But as far as like the, the, the classics go, this is the, the fucking greatest. I love it. So he's hopping through it. <laughs> no time to think, bro. Go get it done. You get it done. Never found that funny, but I just repeated it, so whatever. All right. Second stage clear. I'm pretty sure if to beat it on the four minutes, you're going to get the whistle. So yeah, it makes sense to go to uh, stage three to get that whistle. And now you're big. Mario grew up right there. Keep it going, bro. No time to talk. No time to talk. There we go. Right, everybody, everybody knows this trick. <laughs> Down you go. Is he hopping to? What are you doing? Stop hopping around. One toot on this whistle will send you to a faraway land. It'd be, it'd be funny if my the little mushroom guy said, One toot on this whistle, and he farts right over it. <laughs> Childish, but it's funny. I don't care. Whatever. Okay, obviously the castle. I know there's a whistle here, of course. You gotta get that whistle. Nice duck and jump. Okay, under the fire. Through backwards. Doing it, and looks like he's flying up. Yeah, of course, you got to get the whistle. So apparently he's going to use something called the wrong warp glitch. I'm not sure what that is, but um, he's going to use it to beat the game. So, of course, there you go. Blows the first whistle. All right. Why'd you go to the second world? That was weird. Yeah, he blew the whistle again. You could have just blown the whistle right from here. What the hell do I know? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Keep it up. All right. I never beat, like, World 7, to tell you guys the truth. Like, I love playing this game all the way through, you know, uh, level by level, world by world, but I've never beaten this one. I like to blow the whistle to go to the 8th. I think it's the one I like to do the most, as far as I got, was maybe World 6, but after that, I just didn't give a fuck anymore. I'm like, bro, I, I can't do it. I can't do seven. Never got good at World Seven, so I mean, just gave up on it. <laughs> I wanted to skip it. What's he doing? Bouncing. What's bouncing gonna do? He's gonna open up a new block or something. Okay, down again. Is he? What the hell? He just went into invisible blocks. What was that? Uh, is this frozen? What's going on here? Uh, tapping my keyboard. That's me tapping my keyboard. What the hell did this freeze? And let me be. Oh, oh, he's like sliding. It looks like it's glitching. What the hell is this? Wow, that is crazy. King Bowser is gonna be stuck waiting to fight Mario this entire time, while Mario runs off with the princess. <laughs> I honestly thought he was going to do some crazy glitch that takes him directly to King Bowser or at least World 8 to move it along faster. Instead, he took it to a crazy level where he skipped directly to Princess Peach. Insane. Hats off Exoto, I have never seen it done like that before. Especially because this is about finishing the game as fast as possible, so honestly, good stuff. Show this person some love and check out his or her channel if you like what you saw. Show me and stop playing some love if you appreciate my limited commentary. He beat the game too fast, so I couldn't say much, okay? It's not my fault. Rate, subscribe, share if you get the itch, and comment as you see fit. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm out.